wants what? I don't know. I just bought the message. Well, take this one back. No. No. Possibly in a month. No. Yes, Sarah. Of course. Wait. I suppose... Ugh. I can't believe this. Yes, I can deliver. Oh, good. Oh, my maker. You cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracar at Halam Shirel. Fortunately, you tied twice as many threads as cut. Although it is yet bewildering at the center. There are problems coming out of Halam Shirel. There are always problems from Halam Shirel. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. Goodbye, Your Worship. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Breached those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. Nice job with the demons, by the way. I can't understand how those women in the kitchen could be awake so early after the night we had. Where did she train her ways? Your wishes, something, something. Samson's knight in red, he hath lost his way. Samson's martyr red, to the Inquisitor, the soldiers say you banished the demons at Adamant and freed the Grey Warden mages. I understand from Sister Leliana that the truth is somewhat more complex, but no less extraordinary. She said that you spoke with a figure in the Fade that seemed to be the soul of divine Justinia. I suspect many of the faithful would like to know what Justinia told you. She helped me remember what happened at the Conclave. The Maker didn't give me the mark on my hand. I was struck in battle. And Andraste didn't send me. The figure everyone saw was Divine Justinia. So, it is as you have always maintained. You must feel quite vindicated. I may not have believed, but part of me always hoped it was true. That I was the Herald of Andraste. Who is to say that you are not? Forget the mark. Forget the figure standing over you as you fell from the Fade. The people needed a sign that in this harsh and unforgiving world, there existed some reason to hope. And they found that in you. Dress it up as fancy as you like. We're still lying to these people. This is the trouble with metaphors and the educated. A farmer cannot understand the truth of the Maker, so he learns that the Maker is a man, but greater. A mage learns the same thing, knows it to be simplistic, and feels clever for realizing it is not literally true. But a metaphor is not a lie. It is a tool to help people understand something beyond them, and we need such a tool. But how do you keep your stories straight when different people understand different things? The same way you keep Sister Leliana, Commander Colin, and Ambassador Montillier happy all at once. Very carefully. A farmer 
a noble, a warrior, and a mage will all see different aspects of the Maker in their lives. They must each hear the story that will reach them, and each of those stories is valid. Now, is there anything I can help you with? 